Good morning, church family. It's day 12 of 25 of our YouVersion Bible reading app plan called Discovering Hope During Catastrophe. We've been on this journey. We're about halfway done as we've been looking at how God works and how God moves amidst pandemics, catastrophes, difficult things that we are enduring. And yesterday we made a pivot, we made a shift, and began to look at our response during um, this catastrophe, this pandemic that we are enduring. As we looked at Revelation 22, it reminded us that our response is to glorify God, it's to worship Him. And today we look at kind of the, the foundation of how we get to that place of worshiping God. It starts by having a right heart with Him, and that happens through repentance. And so we read Acts chapter 2, verses 22 through 47, and it's a it's an amazing uh, sermon that Peter gives at what you could call the first church gathering. It's the the Holy Spirit has just come upon all the disciples. They are speaking in different languages, and all the people are understanding the good news of Jesus Christ in their own dialect, in their own language. And Peter gets up in front of that entire group there near the synagogue in Jerusalem and recounts Israel's history and focuses specifically on King David. Now, David was an important uh, person in the Israelite history because they believe that their future Messiah would be a descendant of the King David, that the future King of the Jews would come directly from King David. And so King David was held in high esteem. In fact, it says throughout Scripture that David was a man after God's own heart. And so David was well-respected and well-cherished within the Israelite community. And what Peter does is he points to the fact that David himself was talking about this future Messiah who he now is declaring is Jesus. Now the people missed that before Jesus died and they crucified him on the cross, but Peter was reminding them and showing them, no, no, this is the Messiah, the one that David was talking about years and years ago. We saw him. He was here. He not only died where you put him on the cross, but he rose from the dead. And so their response during this difficult time, after hearing this message and realizing, oh, this is this is on us for what we did to Jesus. I love I love what they have to say. It says that in verse thirty seven, when the people heard all of this, they were cut to the heart, and they said to Peter, Brothers, what shall we do? It's a great response. It's a great question. Uh, as we even look at for us over these next couple of weeks, like what should I do in a pandemic? How should I respond to God? How can I pursue hope during these times? And Peter's answer to them, to repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you too will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so just for today, we're looking at that first word, repent. It's a word we've talked about a lot at CCCH over the last couple months. It's the idea of not only asking God for forgiveness, but that it's making a 180 degree turn in your life in choosing to do the opposite of once you once did, of what you once did. And so what Peter is saying is that, hey, you need to ask God for forgiveness because you put his son Jesus on the cross. And then now you may need to make a choice and saying, instead of saying crucify him, you are now saying we believe in you. And God offers that for us today. We've talked about this quite often. During this pandemic, this is an opportunity that God has used to get our attention. And it's our responsibility, it's our job to turn to Him in repentance, to reflect on our own heart, see if there's any sin that needs to be confessed, see if there's any selfish desires that need to be given away to the Lord so they can take them away and put a heart of selflessness and humility inside of myself, inside of everyone. That this is the time to do it. Um, and so my hope and my prayer is that we as a church, we as a people who are following Jesus, would collectively 
look at our hearts and say, what do we need to change? What do we need to ask God for forgiveness for? How can we move forward to be a change? And we see here in the end of verses 42 through 47, it's the, the, the beautiful picture of the first church. You know, 3,000 people became followers of Jesus that day. They began to share their possessions. They devoted themselves to prayer and the apostles' teaching and to sharing meals with one another. And that all started, that beautiful picture of community, of relationships with one another, all started because they repented. And I believe that for us during this time, as we pursue repentance together, it's going to create this beautiful community that God desires for the world to see. And it's within that community we can not only be reminded to repent, but we can find hope and encouragement from one another. So I hope today's Devo was an encouraging one to you, realizing our need to repent and and the hope that we have, the encouragement that we have, is even if we find something in our hearts that we don't like, God is willing to forgive us. If he was willing to forgive the people that put his son Jesus on the cross, he's going to forgive you. He's going to forgive me. And he's going to give us his spirit and give us a desire to make a 180 degree turn and go the opposite direction, make the different choice than we had made from before. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this today. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and leave a comment in the section below. would love to hear how you have been inspired or encouraged today by um, reading this scripture together. Thanks and have a great rest of your Tuesday.